application, transfer of the all alcohol package store license at 12 Museum Way, held by U Museum Market Corp to Surya Vidyak, Incorporated, doing business as City Liquors at 271 Brookline Street. Binoj Pratan is proposed manager of record of a premise described as approximately 1,300 square feet on the street <laughs> level with one entrance and two exits. Good afternoon. Could you please state and spell your names for the record? Good afternoon, Madam Chair, Commissioner Andrew Upton. For the applicant with me is Binoj Pradhan, the owner and proposed manager of record, B-I-N-O-J-P-R-A-D-H-A-N. Thank you. Um, Mr. Upton, I think you're in a little bit of a pickle now. Um, since you currently have a liquor license there, um, that you are no longer transferring to or mobile. So are you proceeding with this application? Well, uh, given that we cannot put a new license into 271 until the old license moves out, uh, we would respectfully request a continuance uh, to see what may become of that license, uh, only because if we withdraw, we would have to be Can you speak you can't hear them. Yeah. Sit on the side. We can hear them better. We well, can't sit there because our recording equipment can't pick them up from over there. He needs to sit here. Then so why not get mics? Why not get mics? If, if everyone could please, if everyone could please uh, silence. And Mr. Upton, if you could please project a little bit more, that would be great. Thank you. We respectfully request a continuous continuance in order to determine the fate of the existing license. Uh, as opposed to a withdrawal, where we would have to refile, re-advertise, re-incur costs and notice it. Uh, so we would respectfully request an indefinite continuance. Okay, so if I get this straight, so just um, in terms of us thinking, provided that you are able to move the current license from there, you would still proceed with this application? Uh, I'm just wondering if your client has had a change of heart or mind, as the other uh, individuals seem to have. If you, if your client hasn't, then I would proceed with the hearing uh, to some extent at this point. So this is coming. Kind of, oh, sorry. continuance because we are not, no one knows what's going to happen with the license in there, whether it's going to go or stay or something else might happen. Um, and my client's business plan, his continued outreach, whatever he does go for, going forward is so uncertain now, we're not, we're not sure it makes sense to give a full presentation. So we would, we would prefer uh, a continuance until the fate of the existing license is clear. I mean, I can tell you that based on based on a review of the documents and based on uh, the review of the incredible amount of public feedback that we've received as to this application. Um, I think, unless you bring me something that I have not seen, which I highly doubt, that shows a public need for this type of license at this location, I think the only benefit for you to present here would be for your client to see where the needle would fall. And I can tell you that, again, based on everything that we have received, based on a review of the entire application and all the comments, both positive and negative, uh, based on the test in Valorin and cases thereafter, I am inclined to say that there is no public need for this business plan and this license at this location. Please, please, please everyone. Please. So, I mean, again, talk to your client. That's where I'm inclined based on everything that I've seen. Again, I would hear the presentation, um, but... Again, I think it would only benefit in terms of your client knowing where this would stand regardless 
of whether we hear it today or tomorrow. Right, my, my, my client is aware of the public sentiment, having attended a community meeting with many of our uh, brothers and sisters right here in the audience. Uh, and I am also aware of the commentary. I feel that so much of that sentiment and commentary has to do with the second half of the transfer and the potential of the license going to the mobile station that uh, it's not a clear reflection of the public need or the character and fitness of my client. It has and nothing to do with the character and fitness of your client. It has everything to do with the public need it has everything to do with this particular location. And trust me, I am talking about this particular location only at this space. I'm talking about the community at this space. And yes, I understand that many of the letters that we got combined comments for both, but I'm literally just talking about this. I'm talking about the specific public need for this type of business plan at this location. So again, I mean, that's where I'm inclined. I'm not quite sure where, where the commissioner is inclined to. I don't think you can draw any other conclusion but, but the one that the chair shared. Um, the public outcry is, uh, has been overwhelming, and, the, the, you know, you can't, in my assessment, draw any conclusions saying that there is a public need. Everything is on the opposite side of that ledger. I mean, the test of public want and the appropriateness of a full liquor license to replace a convenience store with the amenity of a malt and wine license. It's a completely different business plan. And quite frankly, you know, reading the multiple cases with regard to public need, um, again, that's what, I mean, I welcome the presentation, but again, if you don't want to give it, you don't want to give it, but I'm not quite sure that there's anything, unless there's something that you're holding back that we don't see in the papers, Uh, I respectfully request that we be allowed to withdraw the application. Okay, application withdrawn. Thank you. Thank you very much.